Hello everyone and welcome back to Darkstorm Does Minecraft. Be quiet over there. I'll kill you. My single player let's play series where I take a look at the dive of 20 mod packs from the FTB launcher. The quarry is digging away and we have stable power. Now I said I'd do something about bees and I've actually made an extra building for that. Oh. Uh, I actually noticed something bad with the quarry. Gold, when you pulverize this, has a chance of getting a secondary output of, what was it called, cinnabars? Something something. And I'm apparently really good moving around. This stuff, cinnabar. Which is in some cases useful. And in this case it clogs up the system. So not that useful. Also, there's a lot of stone here. There is that for a reason because I thought about remodeling. As you can see this is just big and clunky and not that pretty. And there's a new area! And a laser from Billcraft Silicon. Because I needed an assembly table for the B stuff I wanted to make. Um which reminds me, I'll just I took too much I took the stone too early. Alright. Shift control click sends it straight out like that. Now this laser and assembly table it's somewhat expensive. It's obsidian and this is five diamonds, this is two diamonds, so it's not that bad, but it's quite a lot of power. I can add more lasers to make it faster, but it produces stuff like these genetic processors, processors from Gendustry that I need, and pulsating chipsets are what I need to make them. Now, I've obviously had this running. Each pulsating chipset and two diamonds and two nether quartz makes one genetic processor. I need those things for, well, stuff. In this case, I need them for what's called a mutatron, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, mutatron, yes. Uh, from Gendustry. Give me one. The mutatron is needed for bees, and out here we actually have the bees, and they're working. Let me see if they're working. Rocky, oh, these have rocky comb. The queens will die out when this process bar slowly goes out, then they produce offspring and most of the time comb. This was apparently, this was one I found in one of the villages, and apparently for some odd reason it was a crossbreed between forest and meadows, so I don't really know which one's best to do that. Over here we have another example of a crossbreed, where it's actually mutated into a new species, the common which is one of the first steps that are needed for the continuation of this entire thing. Now here we also just have one that's been running on itself producing a lot of honey because honey is needed and you only get that from the combs. I also added this little one here. Now I can add these frames to the different apiaries here from forestry and each will increase the output by, what is it, I think it's 20%. The untreated frames has the lowest durability, then there's the impregnated ones. Or is it proven? I think proven frames... How do I... Proven frames are the best durability because I can't, can't make these. The untreated are easy to make and the impregnated are a bit more difficult, requiring a lot more steps. So if I just go and say, you should be bumped. And I'll even let you be buffed a bit. That should produce more comb. Oh, it died. And here we have a Meadows Princess and a Meadows Drones, unknown genomes, all of them. If I plonk this here, they will mate and it should make a queen. Come on. Plonk. Queen. The reason that I was very up when you really wanted the uh, pristine is because the ignoble have a chance of dying like they will not produce a princess whereas the pristine will always produce a princess and drone when they die over here wow what just happened oh, so never mind over here we have a carpenter which I need because I really want one of these a bealizer uh, it's used with the honey drops that you get in the centrifuge here these honey drops. You get them from uh, from centrifuging the combs, and honey is needed for a bunch of things. Oh, I got more. Lovely. Handsome these bites. 
Rocky combs don't have a very high percentage of getting anything. I think you can actually see... Yes, the honeycomb has a 90% chance for honey drop and assured beeswax. What does frozen comb do? Gives you 40% time for snowballs and 20 for crystalline pollen cluster. 80% for beeswax, 70 for honey drop. So you can get some really, really... Oh, magic wax, 10%, 60, and 90. So honey's not apparently that easy to get. Well, oh, got it. The Elizer. Oh, I need to remember to put this one down. There we go. The Mutatron is useful. It ha takes a lot of power. But you can combine any queen, or sorry, any princess and a drone, and it will automatically mutate it into a new species that they can become. It, of course, requires mutagen. Now, I've been thinking, because redstone you don't get that much from. You get a lot from uranium, but I don't have the capacity to produce that sort of uranium right now. Glowstone, not much. Redstone blocks, of course, the same. Uranium, still a ton. And then there is the eulorium that produces an entire bucket apiece. And that is actually the best option right now for me. Um, oh, I actually got Snowball. And a, I'm just lucky, apparently. Because, well, we should have more than enough Elorium. Yes. 16 of those. And that one's practically full. Oh, it's produced. Now, the reason I made extras um, is because the... Mutatron is not the, well, highest. There is an advanced Mutatron that I should have the resources to make. It takes the re It's a crazy amount. Just the Mutatron alone requires lots of pistons and a ton of bronze. And the upgraded version requires more. And I have enough. The advanced Mutatron is, well, advanced. The, well, good thing about it, or the bonus about it, is one, it can contain more power, but you can see there's this little here, select. That means that if you put two bees in here, which can produce different kinds of mutations, several different species, we'll actually just show that, because we're lucky enough. Oh yes, and the bees apparently don't work. In, well, these don't work at night. They don't have the genes for that. I'll just explain that. Before I move on, I need the honey. And I need the fertilizer. Honey goes up here. Meadows Princess. It's a Meadows Forest hybrid. The active genes are the meadows. Lifespan shorter, production speed slowest, pollination speed slower, flowers. They need Every sort of bee needs something close by the, the flower types. In this case, it's flowers. Fertility. It'll produce th uh, two drones and the princess. Ah, I could actually have gotten three. No effects. Jungle bees actually give you poison. Here you can see the temperature tolerance and humidity tolerances. And do they work during the day? Yes. During night? No. During rain? Ah! I wonder that there. And underground? No. Produce, honeycomb, possible mutations, that's a lot of them. And the entire classification. Infest mostly uh, place in temperate climates, mostly docile. Docile, docile, docile. Forest, this is a forest meadows hybrid, whereas this was a meadows forest. One generation in captivity. I don't know what that means. Oh, I think that's got to do with the ignoble, but it's supposed to be pristine, so. That's Meadow Forest Hybrid, this is a Forest Meadows. They've got practically the same. But, if I want to mutate them, dum -dum, I can make it either common or a leperine. The devil does a leperine do? Uh, can I not see that? Uh, that's weird. 
Can I find? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, as you can see, there are a ton of them. Oh, Ardite and Cobalt. They actually produce Cobalt and Ardite or have a chance for it. <sighs> Common. Seriously? Okay, I can't apparently can't sort those. Oh wait, that's awesome. Didn't I see the ordinary ones? Primeval. I really want to know what the leperine does. I think it produces a dye or something? I'm not really sure. You know what? I'll just do this. Apparently you can mana infuse these. Rural, how do you get rural? Meadows, diligent. Aha! Meadows! Wintry, water. Common, rural, if you mix with diligent. Only. Oh, uh, yeah, this one doesn't really care when I put in the Mutatron. Because it's always supposed to do that. Arid. Rusty. Saffron? Okay. That's a bit weird, I'm supposed to. That's odd. Why can't I see common can be made with. should be able to be made with practically any sort of base B. So if I can find the. F hmm, that must be the forest one that does that then. Forest used for gnawing. Uh, holy crikey, there's a lot. Nope, apparently it's just weird. Well, I don't really want the leperine, I'd prefer the common, so I can't get that because this one doesn't have any. Now, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to automatically output. What the heck? Oh, sorry, I have a new computer and I'm trying to install all the things that are necessary on it and suddenly it just... Look, it's running in the background over here. And suddenly it just black screened. Oh, it is actually... Ah! Uh, bing! Come on! Now, it used up this genetic lab wire which costs a diamond to make 16, so that's not so bad. Now, let's see if we can get... Come on! Purebred! Instead of going through all the hassle of trying to breed them in the apiaries, I just got it straight away. And that's your fertility too. It does not care about any of that. So it lost the tolerant flyer trait possibility. But that's... well how it goes. Commons are needed because... Uh, was it this one I took from? Yes. I need the... that was not where I took it from. It was from over there. Oh well, the commons are needed for the diligent, I believe? Oh, sorry, cultivated. Common with any sort of ordinary bee will make diligent. So if I just dump... Let's just see, what does this have? That's Meadows Forest. And this is Common Forest. Interesting. If I dump these two in here, I can make a cultivated. Commons and cultivateds are sort of like the... well. I could call it bread and butter, but that wouldn't be accurate. Because common and cultivated. I'm just gonna do this. And move it over here. Because it's so nice. Um, common and cultivated just produce more, and they're used to get some of the higher tiers of bees from the beginning. The problem is that you usually need a lot of princesses to actually. I'll get the high tiers of bees. I'll just dump these in here because I don't really care about them. Now, we have a limited stock of princesses. You have to find hives to get them. As you can see, there is absolutely no way of actually getting it. You need princess to start out with. Now, apparently, what does a bloody princess do? Apparently it doesn't do anything, it's just in a blood altar. A binding ritual. Oh, does that go from... 
No, this is pristine. Pristine, pristine. I don't get this. Why would you do this? It doesn't make any sense. And it doesn't even produce that much. This makes absolutely no sense. Well, as you can see, you need those. The wind tree wouldn't work. I can actually demonstrate that right here. The rock is done. We are in a... Sorry, I'll just turn that off. Normal, normal. Humidity and temperature. The wind tree does not like temperature normal. It requires it being cold, usually. We can see specifically what it requires if we analyze it here. Climate icy and can go up one. Humidity can go normal. And it can both go up one and down one, which is nice. So you need a cold area for this one. Or you could go Gendistry. The lovely mod has Gendistry. These industrial apiaries. The industrial apiaries require power. And I'm not talking about a small power, they constant supply of power. It's not that much usually, but they're nice. And they can take these different where are they? Come on. These upgrades here. Planes, lights upgrade. Lights upgrade allows them to work during the night even if they couldn't do that. Uh winter just makes the biome appear, that's a wintry one. Decrease humidity, automate it, what is it? Increase humidity. This one cools it. Temperature minus twenty five percent, energy consumption plus five. So you can cool it down even though you're in a normal biome and you can also heat it up. Then there's the sieve that helps produce pollen and production, which is production. There's a lot of upgrades. Genetic stabilizer. I'm pretty sure that that actually prevents the death of the ignoble ones. So that would be nice in that case because I've gotten a lot of ignobles. And I sort of don't want them to die because they're a hassle to get. I don't know of any way to produce hives, so. Uh, I have a genetic processor. Oh well. I want to show you the fun siege. Fancy sounds so weird. This is my turned out to be sort of my junk chest right now, which is probably a bit horrible. Um, that goes over here and sorry, where is it? There. Uh, I added a barrel for lapis, and I also added a barrel for wood because when I made the new room, I had to chop down a tree, which is also why I made this a chopper. It chops down the entire tree in one go. I'll demonstrate it. Oh, sorry. Uh, allow me to demonstrate. Clonk! And all of it. And clonk! And all of it. I just have to wait for the leaves. So that's actually quite useful, especially taking down those huge ass trees because one of those just pops and falls. So much of it. It's really nice. Oh. Found one, found two, I found that here and I'll find that here, might as well do that. So yeah, um, that was sort of needed because suddenly I got a lot of wood. I got wood. Bad jokes, bad jokes are plenty. Are you guys running? I forgot to set these in here so now you guys are running. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. You're fine. This is why I want to use Gendistry because then I can put automation upgrades in and that'll automatically rebreed the princess and the drone. So as long as I have purebreds in here, it. Oh, look. Cultivated. As long as I have purebreds in here, it won't um, stop working and it won't mutate them accidentally either. That's what the Mutatron is for. Controlled mutation. <laughs> sort of makes you feel a bit like a mad scientist, doesn't it? Well, what I now want is actually... Why is this unlocked open? Now I want all this. Because I want to make this area pretty. And that requires... Stone bricks. Stone bricks. 
Oops, sorry. That one. Stone bricks. I, I, I like the stone brick texture, so sorry if you don't. Or pardon me. Now, I need to chop this one out. I can't pick it up. And then I need to put this here. And then I need to change into focus equal equal trade. Now I'm supposed to shift right click this. Yes, and as you can see in the top left corner, it says I have 1,727 of those. I should be able to just right click, and it's working. Yay! And as you can see, it's using up my what is it? Order, Predito, and Terra quite fast. So I may have to recharge at one point, but as you, it makes things look... I thought I ran out of something. It makes things look, look prettier faster, so I don't have to smack it all down and then rebuild. It does quite cause quite a bit of lag though. Not much to do about that, I guess. At least not right now. Let me see, even change that here as well. Now, it is actually quite cheap. Things 0 0.05 per block it replaces, so it's not that much. But it's some. So. Da -da 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 -da. Rebuilding. Uh, oh. They're dropping everywhere. No. Um, the good thing that the bees can actually do, even though it's going to take quite a while to get anything good out of them, is that I can make them produce whatever it is I needed. Now, I don't really have anything I specifically need right now, so I will just breed them up to the... I thought I saw a couple. Oh. Uh, I'll breed them up as high as I can right now, just off camera, and I'll see if there's anything I need. What the? Oh, I'm already out. Well, as you can see, I picked up a lot of cobble. Yay! Since it replaces it, I'll use up as much cobble as I get. Oh, this is actually stone. But, quarry has reached quite far down. Oh, 30 diamonds. Darn, that's a lot already. So, the quarry should soon be... Uh, well, done, I guess you could call it. And it would be useful if I could move it. Unfortunately, if I move it, I need to get the power source and the... Um, was it? Item... Uh, transport, all those things have to be in place. And if I can't get that to there because it's too far away, I'm sort of in trouble. So I actually want to work on something called a Tesseract. Yes, if you've seen Marvel, it's not the same thing. You can't transport people. Unfortunately, Tesseracts require a lot of Ender Eyes. As you can see, Resident Ender is an ender pearl molten down. You need four just to fill this well, frame up. And to make the tesseract frame, then you need enderium. Enderium also requires ender pearls. Here's the really ender pearl thing. What's this? That's not so bad. That's four ender pearls. Into pyrethium. Seems the exact same. But I need a ton of ender pearls. So to get that, I was really hoping that it would it move. I was really hoping that I could get more Enderman and seriously you already grew again. Oh, and get these to grow. And this one is seventy-one. This is the fourteen. They're not growing that fast, so that's a bit of a bother. So I'll actually have to go Enderman hunting. Now that's not particularly something I like. I managed to kill uh, an what is it, Ender Miney. They're really. I'm actually sad I had to do that because they kill creepers. 
So they're really nice, but I needed Ender Pearls. I killed it. I need some stable form of getting Ender Pearls. And I really don't know how to do that. So, I was thinking of starting MFR next time. That's my factory reloaded because you can get some. Well, not really um, spawners per se, but you can get things that will reproduce them. Almost. I could also go the road of uh, the. Wow, now I can see just making an actual spawner. Uh, God, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can make one for Um Where's the broken spawners here? No, that's not the broken spawners. Where's the broken spawners? Uh, they're from Ender IO. That's the one. I'm pretty sure I can get one with. Yes. Enderman. I just need any broken spawner and soul vial to get the one, but this that requires a lot. So I'm thinking of just going and trying to murder a lot and hope these grows in the meantime and then I will work my way up towards getting something good and a stable resource of ender pearls because apparently ender pearls are really needed in this and there's not really any easy way of getting them. And well, not even the bees help in this game. Oh, there's an endermine. So sorry, Mr. Endermine, but I really need to slaughter you for your Ender Pearls. Ah, this sucks. But, well, I need this because. God darn it, where did you go? Ow! You guys hurt! Well, I do have that special sword, the Ender, and I'll probably use that and. try to get as many Ender Pearls as possible, but we really need something good. Also, MFR in its own is just nice because having to not worry about this and just having automatic farm do it would be so nice. And since we have a stable power source, I can't really see anything better to do with it than actually make some automation. So, yeah. I need a lot of ender pearls. Especially because I need a tesseract in either end. I could, of course, also just move it so that it covers that part of the island, but I'll just show you here. So instead of having the quarry here, I could move it so it takes here. But that just seems like a waste to me, because I sort of like this island. And I don't really want it to, to disappear. I don't need it per se, so I could just do that and then I'll live on this small little part. But that is only if I can't find enough ender pearls. I will do my very best to get it. And I hopefully will. And the bees are just gonna have to take care of themselves a bit for now. As I said, I don't really know what I want them to make. I was suggested in the comments that I use them, so I did. The first part is of course getting them upgraded to the right parts and maybe I can actually see if I can get the bee to produce ender pearls. Pretty sure I should be able to. I should think there. Yes, there must be one that can do center pearls. There's one for practically everything, including lapis lazuli and such. So I will research how to get ender pearls easily, and maybe I'll just see if I can find another fortress. Or that's not another fortress. That's uh, the fortress thingy that leads me to the end, and slaughter a lot of things there. So then I have to kill a dragon. Ender pearls are hard. Oh well. Between this episode and next, as I said, I will do the bees. I will hunt the endermen and endermines. And I will see if I can get... Oh, I also need to recharge my wand so I can finish the house look. And I think I'll also check out the... Skystone meteors so that we can actually get applied energistics up because I am seriously running out of space to store things. It's horrid. 
there's just so much of it. Oh well. Until next time, I'm Darkstorm. Check out my friends Pet Dragon and Shuyu. And they're doing weird stuff on their part of the channel. I have just I just remembered, I need to tell you I'm going to start playing Kerbal Space Program for Thursdays. I'm doing the science road. I think that's what it's called, where you unlock the science. I thought of doing career, but then you actually have to pay a lot for the uh, well rockets. And I have a tendency to crash them. I don't know why. It's not supposed to be rocket science. At least that's what it keeps saying. But either way, check out their channels. Leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions as to an easy way of getting into pearls. Leave a like if you like the series. Check out the others. And subscribe for more entertaining commentary projects and just being derp and annoying. Well, not being annoying. Hopefully not being annoying. So... It's raining again. Why does it always do this? <sighs> Either way. I'll see you guys next time, so goodbye for now. I will try to Hello, Commander. Get... In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You We are currently observing immediate Thank you for your patience. Seriously, did I miss that? Oh lordy!